So moving along, um, key three is don't jump on the us two bandwagon without the proper planning. Look, I've been guilty of this in my career as, as well. You know, I'll sit in a meeting and I'll be like, you know, we'll see what a competitor is doing or some new idea will come up and I'll say, you know, we're going to do that too. Sign us up. And, and, and reality is, if you're going to do things like do it yourself or video or go into offering entertainment and things like that, you really have to do it with the proper planning. And planning makes perfect. You know, I think today there are very few traditional security companies who have successfully offered things like a do-it-yourself system side by side. They may be offering it. I'm not sure that they're successfully offering it because a lot of these companies roll it out as a Me Too product. But it, it, again, I don't want to demoralize anyone. It can be done, but it, it needs to be done with the proper planning. Um, for instance, try to keep within the same product family that you're already using. If you've been uh, a Honeywell shop for 10 years and you want to offer something like do-it-yourself or a single can for your customer, you know, go to them first. If you're a DSC shop, go to them first, et cetera. You know, try to keep within the same product family. Think about Southwest Airlines. Every plane they have is a 737, uh, and, and they do that for a reason. Try, also, in that same realm, try to use the same back end that you're using for your traditional side. So if you're, you know, Alarm.com I think is one of the gold standards in our space. Um, if you're using Alarm.com now, um, try to stick with it. You know, try to talk to them as a partner. If you're using Total Connect, try to stick with it. You don't want to have two or three or four back ends that you and your employees are going to have to support on an ongoing basis. It's, it's going to get cumbersome. If you have a dealer partner, um, see if they can help you if you're willing and eager to launch into a new channel. Uh, like do it yourself or another vertical. Um, also, don't underestimate the need for phone and web support. If you want to start selling video doorbells, that's great. But be prepared on Saturday afternoon for a customer to want to get tech support live um, from your company on that video doorbell. Same thing with web support. More and more customers today um, are more comfortable interacting uh, over the web. Um, make sure your website has proper FAQs and very easy troubleshooting techniques. Make sure user manuals are easily accessible by your consumer, the, the ones who may not want to call. Also, logistics are key. Um, if you're going to start sending customers products or maybe entering into the do-it-yourself space, make sure that you either have your own logistics system or you can outsource it to one of the distributors, distributors today who are doing kidding and fulfillment. But you know, in summarizing this slide, you know, and I, again, I've been guilty of this, if you just offer it and you just have a Me Too product, I'm, I'm pretty confident that you're going to fail. You really have to plan, plan, and plan if you're going to jump into a, a new product vertical um, going forward. 